Hi everyone, my name is Patrick and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am showing you all how you can make the new Starbucks chocolate cream cold brew in the comfort of your own home. So in my last YouTube video, I reviewed the new drink. I tried it out. I let you know my thoughts about it and I could not wait to crack this case. And I think I did. It was not that challenging. I kind of just literally went to the Starbucks website and looked at the ingredients that they use. I did not have to do that much digging, that much sleuthing. It was kind of all there. And I'm so excited to share this recipe with you all because it is so simple. Whether you are new at making like specialty coffee drinks at home or you are a skilled barista who has done a few of these recipes, you can do this. Anyone can do this. So this is the new newest addition to the Starbucks menu. I personally really liked it. I pretty much love any sort of cold brew drink. Sign me up. I'm here for it. But the chocolate flavoring was a game changer. And I figured out how I can replicate that same flavor at home using ingredients that you can easily find in your grocery store. You can order a lot of the stuff online. You can find this stuff. And it's simple enough where if you love this drink so much, it's your favorite favorite, but you don't want to spend six dollars every single day at Starbucks. You just have to make like a mini investment in the initial ingredients or supplies and then you are set. And trust me, you'll be saving so much time, so much money, and you can just do this in the comfort of your own home and have the confidence that you can make these drinks yourself. So yes, this new drink was released a few days ago and normally when they add stuff to the menu, they also drop new tumblers and you all know if you have been a frequent watcher of this channel now whenever i get a new tumbler i have to show you all like of course like this new tumbler i picked up i think it is my favorite one in my collection right now it is so good it is like so good okay so without further ado i present to you the purple oil slick studded tumbler oh this tumbler is just on another level. It does have that oil slick finish to it. It looks so good in natural lighting and I am obsessed with this. Oh my gosh, I cannot even. So I hope you were able to grab your hands on one of these. I have a feeling they are going to sell out very quickly. Okay, so let's get into what is in this new drink. So it is the Starbucks cold brew mixed with vanilla syrup. And then on top of that mixture is the chocolate cream cold foam. Now that may sound intimidating to make at home, but it could not be more simple. I will break it down for you. you you can do this and it is going to make your drink 10,000 times better. Plus that is where all of the chocolate flavor from this drink comes from. So it is essential to this recipe. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started on this recipe. If you have not already, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Both of those things really help my channel and it helps other people who are also just Starbucks obsessed um, find this channel. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to do is go ahead and get all the ingredients assembled and ready to go for our chocolate cream cold foam. So the cold foam recipe has four ingredients to it. It is so easy. So you're going to need milk. You can use non-dairy milk, like dairy milk. Um, I'm using 2% today. You're also going to need some heavy whipping cream. We're also just going to add a little bit of vanilla syrup to complement the chocolate flavor and just add a little bit of sweetness to the cold foam. And then to get that signature, just like subtle but present chocolate flavor into the cold foam, we are going to add chocolate malt powder. You can easily find this at any grocery store or online. And this is going to make sure that we taste the chocolate in the drink, but it's not going to be too overpowering. This is the secret ingredient to this entire recipe. And we're just going to put everything in like a one cup glass liquid measuring cup. It's perfect for what we're going to be doing to this later on. So we're going to add three tablespoons of of milk and the measurements I'm using in this recipe are for one venti drink but if you want to make like one grande drink two grande drinks just kind of tweak the amounts a little bit you can figure it out but all of the measurements and supply 
supplies I'm using in this video will be in the description box down below. So three tablespoons of milk going in. Then we're gonna add three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. This is definitely not a low calorie drink, but I don't care. Three tablespoons going in, so it's equal parts milk and cream. Now I'm gonna add in half a tablespoon of the vanilla syrup. I'm just using store-bought vanilla syrup, but you can make this from scratch if you want to do so. Um, I just love a shortcut, so that's what I'm doing today. So the vanilla syrup going right in. And now we can add the secret ingredient, the key to this entire recipe, the chocolate malt powder. This has all of the cocoa flavor that we're looking for, a little bit of that malt flavor. It is just going to make this so, so good, and it is essential to this recipe. Please do not try to swap this out with like other things. If you want it to taste exactly like the one from Starbucks, you need to get this. This smells so good, and we are going to add in four teaspoons. Okay, so these are all the ingredients that are going to go into our cold foam, but we are going to wait to whip this up until like the last minute. So I'm just going to set this aside, and we can get going on our cold brew. So this is a cold brew drink after all, so we are going to need cold brew. So you can go about this a ton of different ways. You can buy pre-made cold brew, which is what I did here. You can make cold brew from scratch. I am going to have a video coming up showing you how you can make cold brew at home. It's actually pretty easy. I didn't have the time to do it for this particular video. So I'm just using one of my favorite pre-made cold brews. They have a ton of options in the stores. I know Starbucks even has like a pre-made cold brew that you can buy in a lot of different stores now. You you do want to make sure whatever cold brew you get, it is just black and unsweetened. The cold foam itself is pretty sweet and we're going to add in some sweetener to the actual coffee. So don't get a cold brew that is already flavored or with sweetener. That is just too much. So you just want basic black cold brew. Yes. And then to make this look like it came just from Starbucks, I'm going to be using my Starbucks tumbler. So let's go ahead and fill this up with some ice. Okay, so all of my ice is in the tumbler. Now I'm just gonna add one and a half tablespoons of vanilla syrup. This obviously gives this drink a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of vanilla flavor. Vanilla and chocolate are like buddy-buddy, so it just makes sense. And for a venti, it's like three pumps of vanilla syrup for this drink, so that translates into one and a half tablespoons. So you're just gonna wanna pour the cold brew into the tumbler, but leave a good amount of space at the top for all of your glorious chocolate cold foam. We cannot forget about her. her. Okay, I'm just going to give this a quick stir with the straw to mix the cold brew and the vanilla syrup together. So now we can get to whipping our cold foam. So there are a lot of different ways you can do this. You can use like a handheld immersion blender. You can pop this into like a Nutribullet or a blender like that. But my favorite way to make the cold foam at home is using a handheld milk frother. It whips it up in a matter of seconds. It's super easy. This thing was like $10 on Amazon. I will have it linked down below. So yeah, I'm literally just going to stick this into the glass measuring cup and get to blending. You do not want to over whip this or the cream in the mixture will like start to turn into butter. You just want to do it until it's a nice foamy texture. So let's get to whipping. Yay! <gasps> Okay, purr, that looks amazing. Okay, so we have our chocolate cream cold foam looking all chocolatey, creamy, and foamy. So let's pour this right on top of the cold brew. It's gonna like sink in and like start to mix together eventually. Oh my gosh, this looks just like the ad. Okay, we like did that. Come on, you all can do this. If this is your favorite drink, that is so simple to just do at home. I showed you step by step how you can do it and it looks amazing. Um, Amazing. This looks closer to like the advertisement than the one I got yesterday at an actual Starbucks. This looks great. We have our dark cold brew at the bottom. We have our chocolate cream cold foam just like slowly cascading down. Okay, it looks amazing. Let's see how it tastes. Let's see if I was able to crack the code and get this to taste just like the one from Starbucks or even better. Um, hold up. 
Okay, keep in mind, I literally tried this drink yesterday, so it's still, it's still fresh on my palate. I can still remember the notes. I can still remember what I tasted, how I tasted, what order I tasted it in. Um, this tastes amazing, and it tastes just like, or even better than the one I got from Starbucks yesterday. Okay, obviously the cold brew portion, it tastes the same. It's cold brew mixed with vanilla syrup. There's not that much to do there. It tastes great. But the chocolate cold foam, oh, I think I made it better than Starbucks did. Like, I can taste the chocolate more. It's not overpowering, it's there. I get more chocolate from my own recipe than the one from Starbucks, and in a good way. This chocolate cream cold foam takes this drink to another level. I am kind of mad at myself that I didn't think to do this before Starbucks did. The chocolate in the cold foam mixes so well with the coffee. Like, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm a fan. This is going to be my new morning coffee for the next few weeks. I am obsessed. You all have to try this recipe. I will have all the measurements, all the supplies in the description box down below. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you loved it. And if you did, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to my channel here. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.